Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and here we have an Emerson design with lion steel in magna cut steel. Now, we'll talk more about the magna cut here in a second. The handle is, it looks like titanium. It is an integral, but it's aluminum. It's an aluminum handle. Lion Steel's been doing this aluminum handle thing for for quite some time now. Um, seem, they seem to be holding up pretty well. Um, I would have been very... I wouldn't have had a lot of faith in it um, because it's aluminum. Aluminum's a lot more softer than, you know, and not even not as strong as titanium. So, But either way, it seems like they've been holding up pretty well. And this isn't like a hard use knife or anything. This would be more of a self defense knife. We have a titanium, sorry, a steel lock bar insert in here. A nice big one, too. And we have a reversible deep carry clip. Um, now, it does have the wave feature, and we're going to get into a lot of little details on this. But um, one thing is, though, the flipper tab is removable. The tool does come in the box, so you can easily take the flipper tab off if you want to only reverse flick it. But it does have the flipper tab. It is pretty smooth on the drop. You also have the thumb flick. The reverse flick, to me, is the sorry guys, is the best way. So the reverse flick, it seems that um, it's very natural feeling. Where the hole lands is great. And just breaking the detent, it doesn't have very far to fly, so it opens up rapidly with the reverse flick. Now the, the flipper tab, it works fine. I mean, as long as you attempt it it's going to flip every single time reliably although it's not the best detent for the flipper tab the detent for the reverse flick is amazing but for the flipper tab you do have to light switch it you can somewhat push button it but it likes a light switch a little bit better just dragging straight down now like i said you also have the wave feature when you're pulling it out of your pocket you can easily um deploy it rapidly pulling it straight out of your pocket you can grab the ring and as it's coming out of your pocket you let this hook grab the seam of your pocket and it will rapidly deploy it now the one issue i have with well i guess it's not an issue but you want to get used to it um with something like this because if i'm holding the ring and i rapidly deploy it now i only have the ring now i have to reposition my hand so you're not going to want to do it like that you're going to want to grip it in a way that when it comes out you can easily grab it so you that's something that does come with some practice now if you're worried about this being left-handed you do not have to it is just as easy left-handed even with pressure on the lock bar no issues not even a little bit it is great reverse flicking left-handed with pressure on the lock bar you can technically top flip it, but it's not the easiest because the jimping's kind of slick. So, but you can do it with the thumb flick. Now, the the wave feature that is originally done by Emerson, by Ernie Emerson. So that is something that he does like to put on his knives, and he was the first person to do that. So every time you see a wave feature. Just know that, uh, you know, it originally did come from Ernie Emerson. But there is jimping on the spine and a nice ramp. Now, the, the actual blade itself, let's talk about this shape. So it is a hawkbill recurved blade. And if you look, it goes around and then it clips off right here now this little clip is going to help with snagging and pulling in and it works pretty well you know i was just messing around grabbing things and trying to yank it towards me and it does work really really well it does help you know it snags things basically you know it's like a claw and it is nice and stout so it's not going to be something you're going to have to worry about too much uh, I don't really see it breaking off too easily, you know, without doing really, really dumb stuff. But as long as you're, you know, using it appropriately, it should be fine, very durable, very strong, and work very well. Now, 
With the geometry, the geometry is on the more robust side. The, the edge did come aggressive, so not extremely sharp, but very toothy. They definitely did it with a low grit, which is fine. You know, that's just fine. This isn't going to be your everyday user, but it's not saying that you can't use it like that. You can, of course, use it however you want. Um, but if you are going to use it for an everyday user, you're probably going to want to lower the angle a little bit and put a little little bit of a finer edge on it um this is just a this is more of a higher angle at a very coarse grit um, which would be fine for self-defense but it would i think it'd be even better with a lower angle for both purposes you know edc or self-defense now Choil looks good. You are going to have plenty of light. You, do have, you have enough to where you can lower the angle or where it doesn't look ugly. Um, now, the Ergos, you can get a nice, comfortable grip inside of the, you know, this gap right here. Holding it back here, you do get a lot more reach. As you can see, I do, I, and I have a large size hand, so you do have a nice gap there where you can probably get a little bit more reach. You have the reverse grip where you also probably have a little bit more reach um, now, or you can just hold it inside the, you know, the finger ring. The handle is a, a, a little slick, not horribly. You, you have plenty of traction in how your hand sits in the middle right there. You're fine like that. However, when disengaging it, especially, and I know this isn't a fidget knife, so, so don't uh, flame me in the comments, but if you disengage it over and over, it does seem to get a little slick right here where your finger, even though there's a plenty of gap there, they did cut you out a nice good area to disengage it. It's just soft right here on the edge. So I wish they would have put a little traction right there on the edge. It would make disengaging it because the lock bar strength is actually pretty strong. They did put a cutout on the inside and outside. Just to explain really quick what an integral is, an integral means this is all one solid piece. The handle is made from one billet of aluminum instead of two put together. It's not two sandwich pieces screwed together. It is one solid piece. You notice there's no seam here. So all of this, you know, it is machined out of one piece. Then they cut the lock bar and then cut these little two little cutouts, made a bend in it and you know, the blade is separate, obviously, and the clip. Um, they did put a steel lock bar insert, as you can see. So when you take it apart, you're going to have to unscrew this, you know, pop out the pivot and pull the blade out. Um, I find them real easy to, to maintenance and take care of. Some people, you know, find it a little bit more difficult, but it just, you know, depends on preference. I personally love integrals. And, you know, it does help with, um, you know, a little bit of build and strength, you know, in some ways. The stop pin here is an internal stop pin, as you can, you can see it right there. So the stop pin is in one place and the blade has a cutout where the stop pin, you know, gets to run smoothly into or around that cutout in the blade. It has a really cool sound to it. The flipper tab, it's not as, uh, doesn't have as good as acoustics. But the reverse flick, love the sound of it. I did check it every which way. It's very solid. But disengaging, I wish there was a little bit more traction. Now, taking off the flipper tab is not going to, it's only going to benefit you back here. Um, up here, it's really not going to do anything because you're still going to have the frame there. Um, and if you're going to hold it up like that, you could. Um, I don't know if I'd do it for self-defense, but you could definitely do it for if you need uh, to cut something really quick. Which, you know, let's be clear, this is more self-defense than EDC, but it can totally be acceptable for EDC, especially for get, getting by things. Um, and, you know, a recurve can, can really help with trapping materials, cutting ropes, cutting straps, you know, and even light-duty utility cuts um, because of this 
claw-like a blade. Now, um, the the steel. It's Magna Cut, right? And I've tested quite a bit of Magna Cut. And at this point, I, I've realized that we want it 63 plus HRC. It's 62.5 plus HRC. That's fine. So I would be happy with it at 62.5 and up. I really, really want to see it at 63 plus. But 62.5 and up is acceptable. However, I don't, I haven't tested this yet, but if I had to, to bet, I would guess that they're probably going to run it a little softer, between 60 and 61 probably, um, which or even 60 to 62. I don't know what they're running it at, but that's what I would guess. You know, just knowing the company, um, I'm guessing they're running it soft. So is that okay? And, you know, I think... With this application, I'm not as mad at it. I mean, I did purchase it knowing that already um, because this isn't something I'm looking for maximum edge retention and it will increase the toughness, which in this case, you know, maybe you want a little bit more toughness, you know, just keep the grit kind of low. Um, yeah, the edge retention is not going to be great. It's not going to take the finest of edges most likely, but I think it's okay in this application. If this was a regular EDC knife, then yes, I would be, you know, probably bitching about it if I did find out that it was under. Because, you know, MagnaCut's hitting the market everywhere. You're seeing it everywhere. But only so many companies are running it at an optimal HRC that I think the community wants to see. I know speaking for myself, I do. I want to see it higher HRC to get more edge retention the the toughness of magnet cut at 65 is still the toughness of vanax so asking for 62.5 63 63.5 i don't think is unacceptable i think that's perfectly acceptable it's still nice and tough your edge retention goes up the sharpening is so it's way better um like i said i've sharpened quite a bit of it quite a bit of it at this point and tested quite a bit and my 64.5 hrc is doing great so anyways and that's at a very very thin edge too that's with the ten thousand um ten thousands behind the edge hollow ground blade and it's doing great so you know if you heat if they heat treated it to an acceptable range and it was a little thicker you can imagine i mean the toughness isn't it's not gonna you're not gonna lose out um, is what I'm trying to say. It's going to be perfectly fine. Um, anyways, this one though, I thought it was pretty cool. That's why I got it. And, you know, maybe I'll do a full review on it. Maybe I will test, you know, how well it works for certain applications. Uh, you know, let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see that. I do think it is cool that it is an integral. Um, the clip, you know, pretty easy to flip. You can see that right there. And like I said, it does come with the tool. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, the, the spine is nice and crowned, and it is something Lion Steel likes to do. Everything is knocked down and chamfered really nicely, which is also why this is a little slippery right there. But very comfortable in the hand, you know, in just about every grip, even, you know, back here in the ring. So, but very cool though. And let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see this tested. I love you guys. Peace.